Well, it was a tricky start for the Gold Coast Titans under Des Hasler. What is in store for them going forward? Not a huge amount of wriggle room in terms of their cap, but we're gonna take a look at the top five options from November 1. Well, an interesting first season under Des Hasler for the Gold Coast Titans. They were scrappy at times, never looked like playing finals, even if there were little periods of momentum. Uh, Reagan Campbell-Gillard comes on board to bolster what is already a very, very strong forward pack, but not a lot of spots in, within the 17 and within the roster in general for them to lock away. They've got some long-term deals already signed, but where to next for the Gold Coast Titans in terms of building a list profile that can challenge not just for finals, but a little bit beyond that? Here are our top five contenders for potential signatures from November 1 for the Gold Coast Titans. Option one, Braden Trindle. Well, five eighths, halfbacks, they're the focus for the Gold Coast Titans. Might end up going after one or a couple of each, but the Cronulla Sharks five eighths could potentially be the headline target for them. Finished 2024 very strongly in a side that also pushed pretty deep in the back end of the year. So he is one gettable option that the Gold Coast Titans might look at to bolster their squad. We mentioned that in certain parts, they're pretty deep, in other parts, not so much, and this could help to bridge the gap. Option two, Jamal Fogarty. So Phoenix jumping in here. Originally, option two was meant to be Ben Hunt, but as you know, Ben Hunt has been released by the Dragons. And if the Titans don't sign Ben Hunt for 2025, we reckon the best option as an experienced half would be Jamal Fogarty. So jump onto zerotackle.com for a bit more in-depth discussion. I'll hand you back over to Darren now for option three. Option three, Tyron Wishart from the Melbourne Storm. We did emphasize for the Gold Coast Titans maybe the lack of versatility in terms of list spots available. So getting someone who can fill many roles might be particularly important for them, potentially playing uh, full back or, or, or a number of different positions. Depending on the need, he is someone that you look at it on face value and think that in his prime position, they might have that covered already, the Titans heading into next season but his versatility I think would be a really valuable asset given at the Melbourne Storm. Uh, there are opportunities for him that are probably a little bit more limited than they would be at the Titans, so that's a target that they could certainly look at. Option four, Sam Stone Street from the Cronulla Sharks. Uh, it has been the common theme that money is going to be a little bit tight, so it's a chance to uh, potentially just pluck around the edges. They, they certainly need a little bit more in the outside back space and could certainly be affordable if it isn't as tight as uh, perhaps it is perceived to be in some circles. So that is the type of player that they, they do need to go after and refine around the edges and, and that could be an affordable option for the Gold Coast Titans. Option five, Jonah Pezzett from the Melbourne Storm spent most of the year recovering from an ACL injury, has been flagged for a long time as a future origin prospect, and that might hinge on if the likes of Hunt and those sorts of players, Trindle, are out of their price range, and maybe given the time spent out of the game, it makes him slightly more gettable, and if he can recapture full faith in his body, then the sky that was the limit throughout the early part of his career may still be so. So that could potentially be an affordable, not a backup option, but a cheaper get for the Titans. So let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. We're gonna have a look at the top five potential targets from November 1 for all 17 teams in the competition. You can check that out as well as the latest news and our season reviews at zerotackle.com.